السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, in, in this video actually I'm uh, going to show you how to install the latest version of the uh, uh, ESMB uh, ENSB uh, simulator from Huawei uh, if, because uh, yesterday we tried together to uh, install the uh, uh, to install the ENSB uh, the previous version 1.2 uh, and it it cannot support the AR routers uh, and also AR routers are needed to uh, to operate and to test the uh, what they call it OSBF version 3 for the IB version 6 so in order to use the OSBF version 3 together with the IB version 6 you have to uh, install the latest version of the simulator especially if you are using the windows 10 uh, uh, here i'm going to uh, show you how to make uh, all of this uh, uh, starting from downloading the softwares and uh, how to install them and how you try the simulator and test it okay let us start so at first we have to go and download what they call it Wireshark, Wireshark, this one. Uh, Wireshark, we have two versions here. We have Windows Installer 64 bits and 34 bits. So uh, to select, it depends on uh, your operating system. So you have to right click on the PC here on uh, my computer. Then you go check here if your copy is 64 then you have to download the 64 bit if 32 you uh, have to download the 32 bit okay so in my case it's 64 i just click here then i download uh, actually i pre-downloaded the things to uh, make uh, the procedure faster so i'm not going to download this now uh, it's already here wireshark 64 bit uh, the second thing we have to download this version of virtual machine that supports Windows 10. So you, uh, I, I will put all of these links uh, below the video on YouTube. You can find it. Uh, so you go to this virtual box. You download this version, virtual box 5.2.30. 135 to 1 Windows. Just click here, then you will download the virtual machine. Uh, it's already downloaded here, re downloaded. After this, we have to go to this page or this link, and from here, you have to click on this file. Uh, to download it uh, quickly, uh, try to use the free downloader, the free download manager. Just this one. Just download it, it's free. And uh, when you enable, you can click here and it will be automatically downloaded using the free download manager. Otherwise, it will take a very long time. So after you click here, you are going to download this zip.ib file. Uh, this zip.ib file has inside only the setup file, this one, which is already extracted here. Uh, so now we have everything ready. Uh, the thing that I need to do now is to start with installing the Wireshark 3.24, which is the latest version. Actually, for the uh, Wireshark, you have, you, uh, you better, I, my advice or my suggestion is to download the latest version of the Wireshark because it's it's not affected by uh, it's uh, not going to affect the ENSP simulator but for the virtual box if you download different version this would be a big issue which is uh, later when you run the simulator then the simulator will show you a message to tell you that this version of virtual box is not supported so better you download this version otherwise you have to do a lot of manual modifications so uh, wireshark we go here 
we click on tools, everything is, is installed. These tools, we, we better install everything here. Uh, these features are very important, especially for uh, network uh, students and developers. So uh, here, just next, don't change this folder. Install in BCAM, this one, you have to take it. You have to take this because we want to install it. Otherwise, if we don't install this, the Wireshark is not going to work. And also uh, for USB cap, uh, it's fine. You can install if you want. If you don't want, it's, it's okay. But uh, my advice for m my students, uh, network students, better install uh, in case you need this feature, you will find. <coughs> Uh, now I will pause the video. Okay, it's very fast. Uh, okay, I agree. This one is the NB cap. So here, uh, no need to check all of this. You just click here. Next. Okay, finish. Finish. Now we uh, are asked to uh, install the USB B cap, the one that we take it when we install the Wireshark. So we have to click accept and accept again. Next, uh, just keep it as it is. Next, don't change the folder. Install, close. <coughs> Okay, next. Uh, okay, for reboot, it's better if you if you reboot uh, to enable the Wireshark, but because now I'm uh, showing you how to install, I'm not going to reboot, uh, especially because I'm not going to use the Wireshark for now. But if you want to run the ENSP and uh, to, uh, to do monitoring for the traffic, then you have to reboot. Okay, you can skip the reboot now. Uh, after you install the uh, ENSP and you test everything is fine, then you do the restart. Okay, so here we are. We finished the installation of the Wireshark and also the uh, WinB cap, which is uh, the uh, API that's needed for packet uh, capturing and packet monitoring and so on. Uh, the second step is to install the virtual box. So here, double click on the virtual box. Then next. Okay, before this, why this version is uh, used with Windows 10? Because the, the previous, previous version, this one is ENSP, is version 100, release 3, C00, candidate 0, and SBC 100. The previous version that we want we was using is 100 release 2. So that one doesn't support uh, Windows 10. Why? Because uh, that one requires the virtual box 5016. 5016 cannot run over Windows 10. That's why we have to download this, which works on top of the 5230. Then this 5.2.30 is supporting the Windows 10, and so everything will be smoothly running. Uh, okay, now for the uh, virtual box, we just click next, don't change anything. Next, yes, install. So it takes a while, not, uh, not so long. Okay, start Oracle. We, we make sure that the uh, virtual box is working before we install the ENSP. Okay, it works. If you run the uh, virtual box and you find all of this from the previous copy that you was using on your PC, so better you remove them. Just remove all of this virtual boxes. Uh, if you have your own, uh, your own virtual box, you, you keep virtual machine. You just keep it. But for this, that the one that's related to the uh, to the uh, Huawei ENSB, you have to delete. 
better. If you don't delete, sometimes it make uh, an issue for you. So for, for my case, I don't have uh, any virtual machine installed. I just want to delete now. Then I go proceed to install the ENSP uh, by uh, double clicking the ENSP underscore setup.exe. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Uh, we just click accept. Next, next. Don't change anything if, if uh, it says that the folder is already there, already exists. You just write, uh, click yes. Next, create desktop icon, okay. And here, uh, okay, we missed something here. We forgot to install the WinPCAP. Uh, WinPCAP actually, I, I have been uh, using, but uh, because the, the, the Wireshark last time is installing by default the WinPCAP, that's why I deleted. But uh, if, if this is the case, then we have to install the WinPCAP at first. So let us proceed. Let me cancel the ENSB. Yes, I cancel. Let me proceed with the WinPCAP first. Next, agree. Automatically start. Okay, install. It doesn't take time. Uh, and now we go back to the ENSB. I, I will put the uh, link for to download the uh, WinBCAP. So I, I was uh, opening just now. So I, I just want to check the uh, history. So this is the WinBCAP. So here is the, the, the link. You just go and click here, installer for Windows. So this is the link for the WinPCAP. Now, uh, if we install the ENSP now, it will automatically find that all needed packages are available, detected on this, on this computer. So we can, directly go, please don't install the virtual box in the directory that contains non-English characters. Okay, yeah, next, install. Uh, let me insert this link first. And install. This one is also in BCAP. And here is the link. So this one, number two, number three, number four. So I will put all of this in the uh, description of the video on YouTube. You can find it. Okay, this, uh, this will take a little bit time. So uh, we, uh, during this time, actually we have nothing to do because the simulator is not, uh, is not there, we are installing just now. So we have to wait, maybe I need to uh, pause the video, then I come back. Okay, uh, installation is uh, finished. Uh, so here, I, uh, if I keep this, it will launch the ENSP. So I remove the show update log. I want to run the ENSP to make sure that everything is running. So if you can see here, there's a lot of new devices added in uh, under the router category. And also maybe for switches, you can find the CE uh, is already there's a lot of new devices access points and so on so especially for for wireless you uh, better install this version uh, in order to be able to run the needed uh, equipment let us try the AR routers so let us select the AR2220 let us run <coughs> Uh, 
to make sure that everything is running fine. So we have to uh, run this. Last time it shows the error 40. Uh, error 40 actually due to the uh, uh, problem of virtual box, virtual machine that's not uh, able to run on Windows, Windows 10. That's why now everything is running. So let us go to uh, system view. Let us try the OSPF version 3. One. This command last time is not running because it said uh, OSBF version 3 has uh, reached the limit of 1000, but now it's working. So everything's supposed to be fine. Uh, let us shut down this. And I want to show you something that's also very important. So uh, in order to do that, uh, you have to uh, clean everything, don't open any device, don't run any device, and go to menu, tools, register devices, you select all of this, then register. Successful, successful, everything is successful. Make sure that, every, uh, that everything is successfully registered. If you received or seen any error here, you just let it finish. Then you make sure that you select it again, these things, and you click register again. It can register many times, no problem. But uh, you make sure that everything is successfully registered to avoid any possible uh, problems in future. OK, now everything is fine. Next. So let us now uh, close the simulator. Uh, okay, you do shut down or restart your uh, PC, and here you are ready to uh, learn uh, uh, or to follow with our lab sheets. Okay, see you inshallah in the next video, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.